Hello friends and welcome to a new happy learning video. Get ready because today we're going to play a game. That's right, we're going to play hide and seek and it's going to be super fun. We're going to play all over the planet and for that we're going to use something that geographers and map makers have been using for a long time. Imagination! Today we're going to learn about imaginary lines called parallels and meridians. Many, many years ago, the Earth scientists decided that, in order to understand the Earth better, it was a very good idea to create imaginary lines. These imaginary lines have a name. They are called parallels and meridians. Parallels are circular lines that encircle the planet from east to west. You know that these lines don't really exist, right? They're just imaginary, but we're going to draw them like this. The longest horizontal imaginary line is the equator, which you already know, right? Of course you do! Well, remember its name because it's very important for our game today. The equator is the parallel that divides the Earth into two halves, the Northern Hemisphere and the Southern Hemisphere. Other important parallels are the Tropic of Cancer and the Arctic Circle, which are in the Northern Hemisphere, and the Tropic of Capricorn and the Antarctic Circle, which are in the Southern Hemisphere. But as you can see, there are many more lines. The distance from any point on the planet to the parallel of the equator is called latitude. And it's measured in degrees, but not in degrees relating to hot or cold, but in degrees of distance, which go from 0 to 90 degrees on a scale that goes from 10 in tens. It works like this. Upwards is northern latitude or positive latitude and downwards is southern latitude or negative latitude. For example, if we are here at this point, we are at latitude 0 to the equator, minus 10, minus 20, minus 30 negative latitude. That's it, we're at a latitude of 30 degrees south. Well, we already know the parallels, now it's time for the meridians. The meridians are semicircular imaginary lines that go from the North Pole to the South Pole, just like the segments of an orange. The most important meridian is one that passes through a place in England called Greenwich. And do you know what it's called? Well, it's very easy. It's called the Greenwich Meridian. You have to admit, the scientists didn't use much imagination there, did they? The Greenwich Meridian divides the Earth into the Eastern Hemisphere, which is in the East, and the Western Hemisphere, which is to the West. The distance from any point on Earth to the Greenwich Meridian, which is the Zero Meridian, is called Longitude, and is also measured in degrees. It ranges from 0 to 180 degrees West also known as negative degrees, in the Western Hemisphere. In the Eastern Hemisphere, it also ranges from 0 to 180 degrees East. For example, if we are here, we are at 10, 20, 30, 40 degrees West Longitude, which is equal to minus 40 degrees. If we draw all the meridians and all the parallels of the Earth, we have a grid. This is a geographic coordinate system. The geographic coordinate system allows us to find any point on the planet. Let's try it. This here is the equator, and this here is the Greenwich Meridian. So this is north, this is south, this is east, and this is west. Now, 
let's say we're at 20 degrees south latitude and 20 degrees east longitude. Where are we? Let's see, 10, 20 south latitude, here. 10, 20 degrees longitude, here. We're in Africa. Maybe we'll see some lions. How exciting. <laughs> now you have to find out what coordinates your country is at. Of course, there is nothing better than using your imagination to create fantastic things like imaginary lines, like parallels and meridians. Goodbye friends, see you next time.